Hello everyone, it's Aisha Madonna and first of all, Happy Halloween everyone. I hope you've had a good time trick or treating if you have. For some reason we didn't we did not get our house didn't get any trick or treaters and that's that's just really sad. We got candy and everything, so I mean that's just you know really sad. But I hope you had a good I don't know if that fits. And it's in, you know, um, like I said, I hope you had a, um, a good Halloween. And first of all, yes, I am, you know, doing well. I'm not, you know, leaving YouTube. Now, you may be thinking, Shay, where have you been? All will be explained in a separate video. Unless you've been following me on Twitter, then you'll know what happens. But I'll explain everything in a separate video. So, right now, I'm going to do something a bit different. This is called the... Oh god, what am I doing? <laughs> and this is called the Atlantic Life Timeline. Explore your life in history. Tell us your birthday and we'll show you how the world has changed during your lifetime. So this is going to be um, a bit of an experiment. An experience. I'm going to see what happens. What's been happening since I was born. I want to see how much has happened. So I was born, if you didn't know, oh, I was born in... December the 22nd, like I mean, you know, three days before Christmas. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And I was born in 2001. 22nd of December 2001. So here we go. Oh, okay. What was this? You won the f you, you're one of the first people who's never lived in a world without the International Space Station. Whoa. Anyway. You were born on the... You were born on in December of 2001, this year. This year, the Atlantic celebrates its 160th birthday, making it ten times as old as you. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm 16. What was this? At one the time you were born, the People's Republic of China was granted permanent normal trade relations with the United States. Oh, wow. At three years old, you began learning about the world as we were reaching the outer solar system. Wait, before and after... Oh, Spotify came around! Oh, my God! Who was this? When you turned six, you witnessed... Oh my God! When you turn six, you witness the election of Barack Obama. The legacy of the first African American couple in the White House would be the major focus of the of the Atlantic. That is so cool! Oh my God! This is what Hollywood for teenagers looked like the year you became one. <laughs> Thank God I'm not like that. <laughs> but who is this? In 2014, David Mazzles, who was born the same year as you, began playing... Oh my god, this is the guy who... This is the guy who played Bruce Wayne! Gotham! Oh, wow! Wait, what's this? By the time you turned 23... 23... The World Bank predicts that the US dollar will lose its global dominance. What? Wait, what? By the time you turn 23, the World Bank predicts that the US dollar will lose its global dominance. Oh my god. Does that mean the US dollar is not going to be around anymore? Oh my god. I, I don't... What does that mean? He's changing something all around you every day. Oh my word. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's kind of sad. I, I thought there would be a lot more stuff. Um, well, I mean, some cool things happened, like the election of Barack Obama, the... Uh, when you were at three years old, you began learning about the world as we were reaching the outer solar system. Well, that... that um, I think, yeah, I think YouTube began around 2006, so I was born to see that. Um, Spotify, um, do you want, I, I thought it was kind of, I, I, I thought there was going to be more. Let, let, let's, let's try and do, let's do a different birthday. Let's try and do another birthday. Let's do, 
Let's do the, um, hmm, if it'll work. Come on. There we go. Uh, let's do the, let's do, this just for fun now, you know. Let's do, oh, here we go. Sorry about this. Anyway, this is for fun now. Let's do 19, no, not 1978. No. Work. Here we go. Let's do 1960. I know. March 12th. Let's just do that for fun. Let's see what would happen if I was born on the 12th of March 1960. You're one of the first people who. you would. I would have been one of the first people who never lived in the world without Barbie. Ooh. At the time I would have been born. Wait, what? White police in South Africa fired into a crowd of unarmed protesters. Oh my god, you're killing 69 people. Holy Christ. Wait, if I was nine years old. Oh, I would. Oh my god, I would have been around to see the first person walk on the moon. What? And oh, there's a US flag. Planted by the great John F. Kennedy. May you rest in peace. I would have looked like that as a teenager if I was born in 1960. In 1976, Bono, who, was born, who would have been born the same year as I was, formed the band U2. Oh. Wait, what? If it was my 18th birthday, Italian former Prime Minister Aldo Mola was kidnapped. What? When you, when I if I would, if I were to have turned, if I were to have turned 47, I would have watched Mankind reach the Aldo Solar System. Wow. My God. Like, what does this bit think? What does this bit mean? Can you please let me know what this means? The World Bank predicts that the US dollar will lose its global dominance. Let me let me highlight it for you. No, let me yeah, no. Oh god, oh god, oh god, what am I doing? Oh stop, stop. Let me highlight this bit for you. Here we are. Here we go. The World Bank predicts that the US dollar will lose its global dominance. What does that mean? That that has me worried. What is this? Twenty twenty five. What? Oh my god. It I, I'm I'm getting worried about the dollar. Like is the dollar not gonna be around? Oh my god, what about happening to the USA? That, that has me scared. That has me really scared. 